Hello darlings, good morning. My name is Corley and welcome to a vlog. This is my first ball headed vlog. Like always, I'm going to put the daily schedule right here and that way you guys know exactly what we're doing. Right now I'm supposed to do breakfast. It's 8.08 but I'm supposed to, you know, get breakfast. I've started giving a, t a time to my breakfast because I think it's really important that I fulfill all my morning food and nutrient needs through a really good breakfast. So I'm gonna do breakfast, then I'm gonna do makeup from 9 to 11, then lunch from 11 to 1, then from 1 to 2 I'm gonna plan some posts, from 2 to 3 uh, customize potentially my new computer. I ordered a new computer. It was supposed to come in like next week. I was not expecting it and then yesterday it's like well your package is close. I was like, okay. And then I'm gonna need to work out. Then I would like to do some cooking between like 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. And then I'm gonna start editing this very vlog that I'm filming. It's gonna be some kind of an inception moment. And then we're gonna do some reading. It's the first time it's like there's nothing to study. It's really fun, I'm excited. Anyways. I'm gonna go eat breakfast and I'll be right back for the makeup part, okay? Before we do my makeup, I just, while I do my skincare, I just want to talk to y'all, okay? So, um, two days ago now, my mom took me driving for the first time, okay? My driving journey is a journey, right? So, um, uh, I almost have all my theory classes under my belt, um, but I've had no practice. I've never driven before. All I knew how to do was how to like start a car and honking at people. I was, I know how to do that. But anyway, she took me to like this parking lot and she was like, it was an itty bitty parking lot too. I was like, man, what the hell am I expected to do here? I came to the conclusion that I'm a very calm panicker because listen, babe, at one point, like we were in the middle of the street. This woman took me to the streets. I can't trust you will be dealt with period ruthless. Right. But, um, I was in the middle of the street and there was this car behind me and I was going super slow because, babe, I have never driven a car before. And I, I, mind you, I didn't even see there was someone behind me. The way I knew someone was behind me because my mom was like, oh, there's someone behind you. So mind you, it's not even something I noticed on my own. I am scared as hell. She was like, oh, just like drive to the side. I was like... You know when like you're nervous, you're nervous, but then I reached like my peak of nervousness. I was like, Mom, I'm gonna stop, you're gonna take the wheel because I'm not doing this anymore. This is like it's nonsense. And she was like, No, babe, you're gonna have to cross this street. I had crossed like two streets before, so it was not that bad. But she was like, You need to cross the street because I can't get into the car right now. I was like, You first of all are heartless. Okay, she had me go in, in the residential zone, okay. Um, the maximum speed you could have was like 30 kilometers per hour, which even at that I could not wait. I have no idea how the fuck I'm supposed to drive. I have no idea you guys. I finally think I realized that I'm kind of scared. I'm a little nervous. It's a little... <laughs> I don't want to be dramatic, y'all, but I just had like the biggest scare ever because I thought my little um, camera shutter, the one I used to take you know pictures of my makeup, was not working and I was unplugging it and replugging it and it was not working and then i realized it's because there's like there was like something unplugged in the middle and so i just ah, that was stressful that was stressful because i was like no babe no absolutely not anyways i'm done doing my makeup i took some pictures i did a tiktok look at this looks pretty huh we're 30 minutes behind on schedule it's okay i'm just gonna push everything back 30 minutes because I do whatever the hell I want because I get to decide. This morning is boring because I just ate and filmed this video. But don't you worry, this afternoon we doing dang, big moves. I knew we were Wednesday, but it didn't register to me that the Loki episode came out today. It's the fourth Loki episode and y'all know. <laughs> I'm a Marvel stan. I'm a Marvel Tan, I'm going to time lapse my reaction to this because I don't think I can like time lapse me watching it. Ah! I'm sorry. It's called the Nexus event. Ah. Before we start watching this, I just want to say something really, really funny that happened on TikTok is that people are like, oh, why do women prefer Loki over Thor? And you know, men were like, oh, because women always like the bad guys. First of all, Thor is a himbo. We love Thor. I've always loved Thor, 
Thor is iconic, we love him, but Thor is a himbo. He's inherently a good guy, but the only character development that we got for Thor was from Thor Ragnarok and Avengers Infinity War. And then Endgame, I don't really know what happened there, but like, you know, whatever. Like Thor was depressed and they were just taking it as a joke. So like two out of his three films that are supposed to be like dedicated to Thor was just much more like Loki character development than it was ever Thor Thor's character development. So um, yeah, Thor's a himbo. Loki has been giving charm, personality, wit, sarcasm ever since the beginning. So um, we love him for that. Second thing, why the hell are y'all musty men identifying with Thor, a Norse god of thunder, a god. Why are you identifying with Thor? Do you think of yourself as worthy as Thor? Let me tell you something, you're not. Like they are identifying being the good guy and not getting women because Thor is a good guy and not all women like him. Like they, nobody gives a fuck. Like y'all are really just not okay. You're not okay up here. Up here, doo doo first of all <laughs> i i just rewatched the timeline <laughs> it's very stupid i look super stupid but this episode was so good this episode was i think it's my favorite episode yet it was so good i literally cannot wait for night episode it was so good okay spoilers sif made an appearance it's not much of a spoiler but like you know let me put it out there and the actress who plays sif jamie jamie alexander i think the woman who plays sif in the thor movies and who appeared in that episode has a show called blind spot which i've been watching and it is so good i love that show it's really really great there's this other actor that also played in marvel he was in agents of shield uh luke mitchell that i also really really like and he's playing also in that show and that show is really really good i am like season two in blind spot and i'm like dang like y'all ate this up i'm like shaking it was so good there's a post credit scene in Loki episode 4, so if you're watching it, make sure you watch it because in none of the other Lokis, there's no end credit scenes. But episode 4, we got an end credit scene. You know what I absolutely love doing? Not introducing what I'm doing, but then just doing it. So I'm currently like planning for social media using an app I'm going to talk about in just a second. So this is exactly what I'm doing. I think this might be interesting for you guys, so I am going to show you the app on which I work to get this uh, together. I use the app called Planoly and I plan my posts on there. The thing is, it's not that I post them on its complete own, like you still have to like post, paste the caption. I wish it just posted on its own. It would be the most magical godly intervention. Unfortunately, that's not how life works. The way it basically goes is I'll post the picture of a look, the video of a look on two different days. So example, picture Monday, video Tuesday, day off Wednesday, picture Thursday, uh, video of the look Friday. And every now and then, because whenever I do a lot of makeup looks, I put them all in like a recap video on TikTok. I'll post that video as a reel on my Instagram and I'll just like, you know, I'll drop it there. It allows me to kind of have a little bit of a break. Like posting on Instagram, listen, sometimes it's kind of exhausting because Instagram is not the most accommodating platform there is. And also like sometimes I feel like there's really no engagement. Like I feel, to be very honest, I feel like I mostly post for the form on Instagram. Like I don't ever post on Instagram because I necessarily want to. It's just for form and etiquette and portfolio uh, and also it's the only place I can really post all of my makeup looks and for someone to go through my page and be like oh so this is the makeup she does like it's kind of my portfolio so I have to post on Instagram but um it's just I feel like it almost does nothing so you know we do what we can I finished planning my posts so yeah next on my schedule is to customize the computer uh my computer isn't here yet so like i i'm not customizing it but then next is working out and i don't want to work out i'm not working out today that is a lie lies lies honey look at this please please this is so cute i love it um i don't even know what i'm gonna put on there i okay i bought some like special 
pink paper from Amazon because I mean it's fitting. So I'm probably gonna put that on there, but it, it's so cute to just stay on the little corner of my beautiful table. Basically, um, today's the 30th of June, which means that my academic calendar is ending. I purchased obviously a new digital calendar to um, organize the days, darling. Also, I wanna say I did my own nails and it's looking a little ghetto. I will admit it's looking a little ghetto, but at least it's not the illegal shit they use on my nails when I go to the salons and pay like what, $75? From far, it's very nice looking. From close, I can see all the flaws, but again, I think I'm gonna get better. Oh no, they're not delivering my computer today. Oh, never mind. They'll be delivering it by 7 p.m. I got, I was like sad. By 7 p.m. they're supposed to deliver my computer. I think I'll make like a separate video customizing it because it's not gonna fit in this. This is way too long. I'm gonna leave in the description box where I got this calendar from. Um, I obviously paid for it, so it's not like zero dollars. It basically has like a daily planning, the same way my old calendar has, but this one is actually like categorized as an academic planner the other one I had was just a planner but this one is academic right so you have assignments errands and communication meals and self-care then you have a little task section with the little check marks which again I love and a little notes section so it's like divided in three and it's <laughs> I'm so happy. I like things to be calculated. I like things to be organized. I like things to have a place in time and space. Basically, I could be the one who invented the TVA. We'll never know. We will never know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to promote my video now. I'm going to maybe plan my day out for tomorrow because I have a few things I wanna get done. And I just need to say, with all this planning going on, I have the absolute best back to school releases for you guys like it's really i'm really really excited august is going to be my back to school month and it's going to be the back to school content on my channel so i start school on like what the 23rd of august i'm gonna try to upload twice a week and give you guys all the back to school content that you could possibly wish for hey babes it's me again i'm currently lowering down my desk because um i just like i was just chilling on my bed like watching videos i was like ma'am you have things to do like look at all my candles okay social media wise i have a lot of things to update like i have to make a media kit plan videos for the month of july because i plan my videos for august but not for july i have to change my profile pictures on all my social media so they're uniform i have to create a twitter strategy I, like I don't want to bore you with like boring social media details but like in case you actually you actually are interested like this is I have to um I have to get better at making thumbnails like this is so stupid but it's literally like I'm gonna practice thumbnail making then I need to create pins for my videos um ah uh, I don't know I don't I think if you see it you're gonna understand it I need to make a new end card bitch do you want to know something the other day i realized that there was a mistake on my end card like it says subscribe and not subscribe because baby i didn't know better but like it's so embarrassing i think i'm gonna create some visuals right and i'm gonna do this for the customization of my new computer which i don't actually think is gonna get there today like they changed the timeline to like seven maybe it will get there but i'm not sure it's going to get there but i'm gonna make a separate video customizing my computer and that way you know it's going to be all fun and games but i need to prepare some things before this so um okay i'm sorry <laughs> cue the time lapse i'm doing this because i definitely love exposing myself but in like half a second you're going to see what i mean by subscribe do you see it i hope you see it it's very ghetto since the last time we saw each other a thousand things literally went on so i got a you know notification at like 6 30 6 15 6 30 that my package was brought to a post office when i selected like um should they leave it at my house i was like yeah leave it at my front door because you know i'm here anyway so like i would have gone to see what happened right anyways we got her literally timing is perfect i just received this from amazon which is kind of like an extension because if you guys know about the demonic thing that is a macbook a apple computer they don't have all these ports like my old macbook air had like you know the sd card port a usb port literally like so many ports 
they still have the headphone jack so that's good but for now baby we just transferring files babe i didn't even touch the most important part literally the post office was a 20 minute walk from my house and since i decided not to work out today i was like well you know what I did end up working out because I, I did those 20 minute walks in like 15 minutes. And when I tell y'all, my watch was like exercise bring closed. Moving on, let me organize this little computer. It looks so pretty. Okay, bye. Why is it that my computer, you know, I'm trying to, my new computer, I'm trying to like enter my Wi Fi. My Wi Fi password is not working. I'm like, my Wi Fi password has not changed in literally like the past four years. So what do you mean it's not working? Everything and anything I've ever connected to it worked. So I was like, okay, I continued the configuration and then I got onto like the desktop, right? And I was like, let me go onto notes to see what the hell's going on. Like, why is it not working? If I tap the four key, it's giving me like a dollar sign. What is going on? So then I called Apple support because I was like, absolutely the fuck not. I literally picked my computer an hour ago and it's already acting up. What, what What's up with that, right? And they were like, um, obviously I was not rude. I just want to put emphasis on that because no matter how frustrating something can be, do not ever be rude to customer service employees, right? So I was like, okay, uh, my number keys are not working. And every time I write, it's like all caps. Sometimes it's not all caps. And my password, I believe, is not all caps. So I don't, I have no idea how the hell I'm supposed to get back into this computer. So I was like, it's, it's not working. So what do I do? And like, I was with one person and that other person was like, baby girl, let me transfer you because it's not going to work. She was like, you need to like either send it back or like go to a store. I was like, baby, I'm not about to send it back and get it in like three weeks like that's not what i agreed to do so she was like okay so let's take an uh like an appointment you know at the genius bar which she tried to she couldn't figure it out i was like you know what ma'am whatever and okay tomorrow is canada day i don't care about canada's day okay i just no no you're on stolen land what exactly are you celebrating murder friday i work and i work from eight to three right so then i was like okay so my appointment, if I'm gonna get an appointment, is definitely going to be Friday at four. I'm gonna have to be stuck with this not working computer because I can't even get Wi-Fi on it. I think this is the thing that's really getting to me. At first I was like, is this a MacBook Pro thing? Is this where like, whatever. I am sick and tired. Like my fingerprint is literally already on it. So like, what the fuck? Anyways, good night guys. I'm gonna continue working on customization and doing some things on my iPad, who's working?